Hi, I'm Stoshi from SwingDev. As we recently finished our recruitment for the internship program, we could see how many people were interested in such opportunity. We've got over 600 applications within a month and had to choose just the best four. We prepared this video to help all the aspiring tech interns to get better prepared for the whole application process, no matter which company they applied to. So if you started applying or plan to do it in the future, stay with us to hear some tips. Yes, I think it's definitely worth adding a cover letter if you are willing to join us as an intern for any company. Why? It gives you a chance to sell yourself to the HR manager or a developer that will be checking your profile. Show them your general interest in the topic, briefly describe your motivation, experience, or what you are looking for and why. It's also a nice place to show that you are a perfect fit for the company, like you share the same values, or you also like startups, like us at SwingDev. Share what you enjoy the most in the role you are applying for, like you are inspired each time you see a good design, or you love modern technologies and you want to know how to use them efficiently. Keep in mind that the person who is going to read it will be seeing hundreds of other cover letters. So spend some time on it and think it through. Never copy phrases from the internet or some standard forms as then nobody will remember you, because you will be the same as all the others. Use this chance to write something extraordinary to make you stand out from the others. Design and content alignment. Please put some effort into making it in a way that it will be easy to read. Important information should be placed at the top, sections should be nicely divided. Do not overcomplicate the content. It's cool that you have tried 20 different technologies, but if you don't have any project on your GitHub profile in a related technology, or you just read three various tutorials on the topic, please think twice before adding them. Technical interviewers love to ask in detail about them, so make the selection carefully. Another good thing to do before you start sending your CV is to give it to your friend or a family member and ask for feedback or to check for any misspellings. If it works, then hell yeah! Please remember to host it somewhere though. Add links to the repository with the code and live version in your CV. The live version is very important here. Again, if you have hundreds of candidates to check, you won't browse the code wondering what particular application really does. So without having an easy option to preview it, the interviewer won't bother checking it. So that you won't score even though you have something cool on your GitHub profile. You don't have an idea for a cool project? Please think twice before posting a tutorial application to your GitHub profile. There are billions of people starting the developer careers just like you, and they have already posted it, so the interviewer will notice that. Be creative, change something, design, context, anything. An example? Consider a to-do list project. Pretty dull, huh? I'm a fan of anime. What's about an anime watch list with some integration with open anime database? The logic will be almost the same as in the to-do list project, but project-wise it's an entirely different application. Quick jump to the code pen on Dribble for design inspiration. Viola! We have a cool project that is unique and different. Speaking of our projects, please remember that GitHub has a free private repositories for personal profiles. Try to keep your list of repositories up to date and don't make the unfinished or old projects public, as they can be seen as something negative. To be honest, yes and no. On the one hand, it's nice to have a person with a degree, as they will have a broad spectrum of knowledge on different IT-related things. But on the other hand, the experience is what matters the most. A person with the coolest project in the portfolio is more likely to be invited for the next interview step, not the person with a higher degree. At least, that's how it works at SwingDev. I know that you most likely associate a programmer with a guy who rarely speaks and prefer to talk with a keyboard rather than with the real human being. But that's not how it works in practice. In the real world, communication is critical in a programmer day-to-day -day job. Keep that in mind. Spend this additional 15 seconds the next time you'll be sending an email to ensure your way of communication fits the conversation style. Either it has a formal or informal format. Every company does it differently. What's more, every interviewer does it differently. It's worth asking what the goal of this step is and if you should prepare for it. Sometimes the company will just want to talk with you face-to-face, -face, not over an email. 
Sometimes they will ask you some technical questions. That's why you want to ask about it beforehand. But generally, they will try to get to know you. Use this time before the interview to get to know what are the most common tech questions. It will give you a chance to practice with yourself and sort your knowledge out. Think also of a project you are most proud of and how would you describe it. Consider the times when you did something technically wrong and how would you solve it now with the knowledge you gained since then. Hi, I'm Alicia. I'm talent manager at SwingDev and I'm just stepping in to give you a piece of advice from a recruiter's point of view. Not all of you will already have a lot of tech experience to share. This is why many of the interns recruiters put strong focus on the behavioral part of the interview to check whether you are a good fit for the company, what motivates you and what kind of an employee you would be. Good communication is a key too. To check these aspects, you may be asked general or behavioral questions. Apart from checking out most common interview questions, try to do two more things beforehand. First, think of your expectations and motivation. Try to answer yourself, why do you want to be a programmer? What made you interested in this particular position? What do you expect from your future employer? Or in what kind of company you could feel good? Secondly, get to know more about behavioral interview and how to answer such questions. This type of interviewing is based on discovering how you acted or would act in specific employment-related situations. Learn more about STAR model. Fluency in this technique will help you answer the questions, giving specific situation, task, actions and results that would help a recruiter to understand your way of thinking or behaving and also will make them sure about your communication skills. Another thing worth doing is to prepare the list of questions for the interviewer. For example, ask about the internship program, the technologies that are going to be used, your future colleagues, the time frame, if there are any rules in the office like the dress code, or if the company offers the permanent contract after the internship. There are no stupid questions, but come prepared to score some additional points. Be honest. Don't feel loosey admitting you don't know something or you haven't heard about the technology before. It's totally okay. Nobody expects you to know everything. First thing, congratulations, you did a great job. Ask the company if they have any useful links for you or what you should learn before the internship. Usually, companies prepare a teaching program with a list of technologies you are going to learn. Ask about it and get to know them just a bit before the start. I hope your journey was pleasant and you have learned something new. Don't give up. Just use the experience you've gathered in your next interviews. Think about extending the task you did for the interview to make it even cooler and keep it in your GitHub profile. Think of the other questions you were asked and note how you would answer them better without the time pressure and stress. All right, that's what we have prepared for you. Hopefully you find this knowledge interesting and you will be able to use that in your upcoming interviews. If you have any questions, please leave the comments below. That's all for me, goodbye. Ha 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 ha!